Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Have you ever had your hopes dashed? Right? You've really got your heart set on something and you're working towards it. And all of a sudden, something happens. You don't get that job that you applied for and interviewed for and things look so good and it was just exactly what you wanted and it would fit into your schedule and it was going to be perfect. Or how about that that guy or that girl that, well, you were in love with them and things seemed to be just going so well and all of a sudden there was a hiccup. There was a bump in the road and that relationship ended. Sometimes our hopes are dashed for our children. You know, we hope that they're going to get great grades in high school or they're going to make the sports team or they're going to go to the college that they want to go to and those hopes get dashed when that letter comes in the mail that says, sorry, try somewhere else or sorry, cuts were made and you were one of the ones that got cut and these things add up on us right I mean we get overwhelmed sometimes when we well we have our hopes set at a high level and then something happens and our legs get swept out from underneath of us and and we're on the floor and we're trying to figure it out and we we cry out to God well God don't you love me I mean don't you want me to be happy don't you want what I think is best for me? Don't you know, God, that I know what's best for me? And what I've come to find out over the years is that God knows so much better of what is good for me than I do. And as we go through these days, we need to be aware that, you know, sometimes things get stalled out. Sometimes plans that we make get changed because, you know what, that college that we wanted our kid to go to, they wouldn't have done well there. It didn't fit the profile that our kid fits into, and it would have been more detrimental to their mental and physical and spiritual health than going somewhere else. That relationship that we thought was so meaningful and so deep, well, in the end, it would have ended in disaster. And there's someone who is waiting for us who is so much better. That job that we wanted so badly, well, maybe it would have been great monetarily, but maybe it would have caused us to work more hours and be separated longer from our family, and we would have been so wrapped up with that job that, well, we forgot about God. You see what I mean? Just because we don't see the big picture doesn't mean that God still isn't working. There's that old story, a tapestry, right? You look at the bottom of a tapestry, and there's all these nasty strings hanging off, and it there nothing works out, and it doesn't look like anything. It's this ball of business, right? It's a mess. But you flip it over, and the tapestry on the other side is a beautiful work of art. And that's the way God is. We don't see the finished project. We don't see the finished product, right? We only see what's going on underneath and all of the work that's being done and the things that aren't working out for us. But when we give our lives over to God and we say, okay, I give myself to you and I, I give you my will, then we start to see the project that is being worked on by God, which is our lives. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.